This is the motor on my uh, dust collector, Harbor Freight dust collector, and it's model, um, let's see, 45378, but that's, uh, doesn't have anything to do with what, really what I'm talking about here. Uh, I wanted to show you, I just got through repairing this, but then I thought, you know, I really should have... Uh... Okay, so this is the capacitor that I put in there. This is the capacitor that it came with, and I'm going to show you how to figure that out too here in just a second. Now, anytime you're dealing with a capacitor, get you, um, get you a screwdriver and short across those two terminals to make sure that there's no voltage in there that's going to get you. Make sure your motor's unplugged. So if I take those off, it's going to act like it did. Now, this capacitor was just in there, just connected in. It didn't have these lugs. But when uh, you try to start it, it's just going to hum for a few seconds and then it's going to blow the breaker. So I'm going to turn it on and let you hear that. Let me turn this air, turn that air conditioner on so you can hear it. Okay, so now listen. And it's not going to, it's not going to turn over. Okay, did you hear that? Okay, so uh, that's the noise you're going to hear. Now, if you want to double check that, you could take the end off and there's a fan on the end and take you, uh, when you plug it in, I mean, you just have a couple of seconds before it blows the breaker, but uh, when you plug it in, if you'll take a stick and flip that fan at where you're acting like the, uh, the capacitor, it'll start kind of going and then it'll probably uh, blow the breaker. But anyway, if, if that's your, what's going on with the motor, if it's making that kind of a noise and that kind of a situation, it's probably your capacitor. Uh, if it's turning freely and that's, you have those, those kind of symptoms, I would replace the capacitor. Now, there is a way to check that capacitor to know exactly what's going on with it. And this is a multimeter that I actually just bought. It used to be really expensive to find a meter that would do capacitance. But this one, I'll put a link to it down in the description for you uh, in case you want to do this. But uh, I'll check the old one. And it's given me a reading of zero. So that one's dead. Now this one, now this one says, let me talk to you about this a second. Now, this says 400 MFD, 125 volt AC. This one says 400 to 480 MFD, uh, 165 volt AC. Okay, so when you go to find a replacement, now you do want to find one that's just got two uh, lugs on it. Now this one actually has four places you can attach, but it's only two separate lugs. If it's got three lugs or four lugs, it's a starter run capacitor and you don't want that. You want just a starter capacitor for this particular situation. Now your, your situation may be you need a starter run in, in the motor that you're looking at. So anyway, let me check this capacitor now. And it's telling me that it's at 461. All right, so it's right within the range between 400 and 480. Now, the other thing I want to tell you about picking a the other thing I want to tell you about picking a capacitor, I'm going to make sure that's discharged, is this MFD. If it says UF, that's the same thing as MFD. So if you find something uh, that says you know 400 UF, that's you've got the thing you need. It's the same as the MFD. Okay, so then I just replaced these terminals with some spade connectors. You want to make sure that the new one, that there's no way that it can touch this housing. All right, so here we go. All right, there you have it. It's working again. A common problem on motors, after a while, the capacitor will give out. 
and it, it's a very simple thing to fix it. Um, get you one of those. That uh, tester was, I think, $20. Like I said, I'll put it in the description for you um, if you're interested in that. But um, on these motors, the other thing that can go out is the centrifugal clutch that's in the end of it. But that's not nearly as common as your capacitors going out. So if you have a motor that's not working for you, give it a try. Hopefully it'll fix it for you. And as usual, thank you for watching.